This is designed by Anto Hizzi. Today we are going to learn what is DBMS, what is database, primary goal of DBMS, and the uses of database systems. DBMS is a collection of programs that allows you to store, modify, and retrieve slash remove information from a database. The abbreviation for DBMS is Database Management System. Database is usually referred as the collection of data. Goal of DBMS is to provide a way to store and retrieve database information in convenient and efficient manner. Database systems are designed to manage large amount of information. Management of data means defining structures for storing information and giving methods for manipulation of information. Also the database system must take care for the stored information from crashes or attempts at unauthorized access. If you want to share data among several users the system must give accurate results. So computer scientists have developed a large amount of concepts and techniques for managing data. Now, let's see the uses of database system. Databases are widely used in banking, airlines, universities, telecommunication, finance, sales, online retailers, manufacturing, human resources. In banking it is used to store customer information, accounts, loans and banking transactions. In airlines it is used for reservations and scheduled information. Airlines is the first one who used databases in a geographically distributed manner. In universities it is used for storing student information, course registrations and grades. In credit card and transactions. Databases are used for purchases on credit cards and generation of monthly statements. In telecommunication it is used to keep records of calls made, creating monthly bills, maintaining balances on prepaid calling cards and storing information about the communication networks. In finance it is used to store information about holdings, holding means property, sales, purchases of financial instruments like stocks, and bonds. A bond is a debt instrument issued for a period of more than one year with the purpose of raising capital by borrowing. Storing real-time market data to allow online trading by customers and automatic trading by the firm. In sales it is used to store customer, product, and purchase information. In online retailers, retailers are the person who sell things in online. Here your databases are used to store sales data, example customer, product and purchase information, plus online audit tracking, generation of recommendation lists and maintenance of online product evaluation. In manufacturing databases are used to manage the supply chain and for tracking production of items in factories, inventories of items in warehouses and stores, and orders for items. In human resources it is used to store information about employees, salaries, payroll taxes, benefits and for generation of paychecks. From the above uses we can say databases form an essential part for all companies. In early days, very few people interacted directly with database systems. Even though some people interact indirectly with databases also, they don't realize that they are interacting indirectly through printed reports like credit card statements, or through agents like bank tellers and airline reservation agents. Then ATM came. People interact directly with databases through ATM. Because of internet revolution people started to access databases directly. For example, when you access an online bookstore and browse a book, you are accessing data stored in a database. When you enter an order online, your order is stored in a database. When you access a bank website and retrieve your bank balance and transaction information, the information is retrieved from the bank's database system.